How's it going, everybody? Today we're back on my garage. This is episode six. The last episode we got the sucker here back together um, and got it rolling. Suspension's done. Uh, I have, at the time of recording this one, episode five still hasn't came out. So I'm not going to really worry about these two cars today because I'm waiting to see what y'all have to say about motors. Oh, I forgot to tighten my brake booster up, didn't I? Um, waiting to see about motors and colors. So we only have eighteen hundred bucks. We need to get some money. I'm not worried about really tightening the uh, back, but if we can get it. There we go. We got it. Cool. Yeah, we need to get some money. We need to do some jobs. And I was thinking about going to the junkyard, having a towing one back. And, um, hell, we can get rid of this right here. So we got 18, 22. So that was $131 right there. Where did the exhaust go? We're going to hold on to this. We may, may need it. What is going? There it is. We may use it. Um, there is some updates on the mods, like the paint booth got updated and there's a wear inspector. So we now can wash the car for a hundred bucks. Uh, let's see. Question is, oh, and he fixed it and it's got sound. Nice. Okay. Um, Let's put this back where it goes. And they updated it to where you could see the paint colors better. Oh, I, I'm guessing this right here. Which is cool. And then uh, Feeds came out with, or it might have been Banana, I don't remember. One of them came out with a, uh, a wear inspector for parts. So we'll see about that. Um, but I think best thing to do is to get a job. Where's our board? Oh, it's out here. Cool. I'm figuring like a... Maybe like a rust job. Car is loud. Overheating handling... There we go. See how much this pays. Holy smokes. Okay, well, this thing's about rusted out, isn't it? $5,500. Jesus. A lot of money. Alright, let's, um, I guess let's get cracking on it. We got our horses. Let's go ahead and sleep until daytime. There we go. There it is. So we got our saw horses out. We'll start with this fender, I guess. Nope. There it is. Boom. So this episode and probably the next episode will be just like kind of get money. I'm not really going to worry about the... Uh, the twins for right now because I want to get the warehouse um, here soon. That's a screwdriver to take that off. There's nothing behind the bumper. Let's see if there's anything in this door. I'm not seeing nothing. Okay. So the, tr uh, the tailgate has to come off. Where are the bolts? There are two. Yep. Now the tailgate can come off. 
we'll have to cut this floor apart to get it. And that's probably why it pays so much. Um, any rust over here, like on this door? No rust on those that I can tell. Okay. Let's, uh, I guess let's put the... Come on now. Which grinder is this? Not even the one I need. All right. We'll get the other grinder. Wait, it's right there. Already ready. Let's uh, actually, let's go ahead and take this trim tool. We'll get this trim piece off so we can make sure to get all the rust. Okay. And this. We can get a couple jobs like this. Shoot, we'll be able to. We'll be able to get that warehouse really fast. Okay, that's cleaned. We'll get what we can here. Man, there ain't no way this is going this easy. There's got to be some kind of catch. Got to be. So we'll have to cut that out. Oh, let's get this tailgate cleaned up. A little bit here. All right, we'll get this back piece cut out. I don't remember what you have to do to cut it out. That one. Maybe these. I think there's some on the inside. If I remember correctly. Mid panel. That's it. Okay. We'll throw this on the horse. We need to check this for rust. Rust is complete. Man, there's no way that's going this that easy. No way. Got to be some kind of glitch or something. This game never rewards you for like that. All right, well. All right, let's get the paint code. I think one can will do it. Nine one eight two nine two. Nine one eight two nine two. Buy spray can. Like a ugly Easter color or something. Matches. Okay. Just fender all done up. And the tailgate.
That's crazy. That it went that easy. Fifty five hundred dollars. I was thinking that's gonna be a a nightmare that I was probably gonna have to cancel because I couldn't figure it out. But don't let me speak too soon. Okay. I think that's good. I'll throw this on there. Don't want to check for rust. No rust. Nice. And then let's see. I need the wrench. I need the wrench. And then I need this. Uh, let's actually tighten this first. Shut that. There we go. Oh, need to open that back up. Guess we gotta weld that thing back on there. All right, there's this. Is that it outside of that piece? I think so. Man, that was the easiest $5,500 I've ever made on this game. Okay, I thought I seen something on the fender. Yep. All right, now let's get the old, the old buzz box. Go ahead and suture this sucker back together. Is that it on the welds? Ah, condition is good. Let's get the welder out. Is it done? Nope. Knew it was too good to be true. Okay. The rust and everything is good. Oh, there it is. Wow. All right, let's clean up our mess. Let's make a trip to the junkyard. So my plan here is, obviously we can't drive yet. Um, I mean, I guess we could. We could take a customer's car. Yeah, let's do that. We're going to get a customer's car, and we'll take it for an old joyride. They'll never know. We'll get something like an air filter. Not that one. Come on. There we go. Oh, shoot. That's a... Hmm. Yeah. Why not? thousand bucks. All right. So... Jesus. Okay. Let me get my wheel hooked up. Okay. why every time i play this game i have to go in and reset the wheel again like on the logitech software because it gets it's just so stiff like my force feedback's turned way up all right we'll uh we'll stop by the mansion see if we can't find a free car maybe for a future project or something show y'all where that's at. I think I showed y'all before, but it's been a few episodes. Okay. 
Okay. We're going to turn here, right past the second intersection. Leaving the beach. Take the first road to your left. All right, let's get out and see if there's anything here. There is. Ooh, and it's a nib. Nice. So you just hit I to claim it, and you hit I to tow it back to the garage. Or you can sell it. That's the first nib that I've found um, like that. All right, so. I don't know really what I'm looking for at the junkyard. I just know we hadn't been in a few episodes. And um, I'd like to go see if we couldn't pick out a project. Really just to flip it. I mean, we're not going to fix it up or nothing. Try to find something for, you know, a thousand bucks, two thousand dollars. Bring it home, wash it, take off some bad pieces, and try to flip it for a couple grand. Maybe repaint it, you know. Okay. And this wheel is stiff. be here for a minute so I'm gonna take the wheel off so it's not in my way and it's gonna take forever to load so I'll pick you up in just a second all right and we're back and it's glitching come on move you're covering the sun really all right, what do we got? We got a wheel, some bumpers, fender, a bike. Bikes don't have a whole lot of profit in them. One of my other playthroughs. Ooh, I like that. Find that. What is this? A lug nut? One of my other playthroughs, I started a complete bike shop. And, you know, it was all right. Is that a 380? That's 373. Oh, there's another one. Nice. Okay, so Jesse, Bart, Chad, F100, Niv, Scoop, Porter. What is this? A matte roof for a Niv? All right, well, I don't want to get a lad. I'm thinking how much they want for this one. Golly. So we buy it, we clean it, clean the rust, and paint match it. And we could probably get like eight grand out of it. Let's just see how much the rust is, though. So we got a little bit on the fender, roof, the... Uh, 
That may be considered a roof on this car. I'm not sure. Both quarter panel. Don't look like there's none on the rockers. Seats look... Oh, this seat looks okay. It's mostly there. Maybe we can find a set of wheels. No. All right, let's keep looking. I think this is probably going to be the one that we get, though. Um, what is this? A roof to a Chad? A floor to a Jesse? What about this Chad? It's the same thing, rust. Really, I'm just looking for a quick flip. Okay, so you see it says very used, doesn't seem to last that long. Okay, so the wear inspector. There's a crack on this one, a little bit used, but as new. Okay. Used still works. Nice. Okay, so why don't we get... How much do we have? That's 34. We'll get this one. How much is this one? That's three. We're going to buy them both. We'll clean them up. Get a paint can. You know, paint match them. And we'll call it good. Let's see. Put these in there. Send that sucker to the garage and send it to the garage. Now we got 500 bucks to make those happen. And worst case, we can do this job. Oh, I gotta put my wheel back on. Sorry, I know that was loud. All right, let's see. Let's back this, this pig up. Underpowered pig, I should say. All right, well, I'm not going to bore y'all with this drive again, so I'll pick you up when, um, when I'm back at the garage. Oh, all right. Well, we're coming back up on the garage. Here in just a second. Oh, let me slow down. This thing is so gutless. Can't wait till we build the other ones. Alright, we're gonna park this one here. So we can still do it. But, you know, work on it. So that's a thousand bucks. Pretty easy thousand. But right now we're going to focus on the other ones so we can get a little money. Okay, we need to move these lads. Um, this one still don't have an e-brake. So make sure it doesn't hit. We got to change the fenders out too. I don't like to cut fenders on it. All right, you stop. Thank you. Then we'll push number two on over. All right, so these aren't going to push worth crap. So we're going to put the power push mode on. Get them over here. And wash them. And we'll take some parts off of them. Paint them. And we should be able to almost double the profit on both of them. Okay. Start by this one. If it had wheels, let's say we push it over there. But that's $100 to wash it. But I really just want to see how that works.
Yeah, so for those of you that don't know how to get that, that is uh, Feeds Patreon. You can pay the, I think it's like four ninety nine a month or whatever, or you can pay the extra. Um, I, I just pay the four ninety nine because he pays for the the program to make the mods. So, you know, at least I can do is help him out. I love this game, so... And that gives you early access to all of his mods through his Discord. You can be on his Discord, but you have to pay for the Patreon to get the locked content stuff. So. Okay, I think this one's good. Put it here. Let's, uh, let's get our wrench. So how much is it worth now? 31 36 So we take this seat out. This will die soon. I love that. Thirty-one, thirty-six. So it's still worth the same. But at the same time, we could sell this for $7. And then the back seat as well. This will die soon. Thirty-one, thirty-six. So it's the same. We can also sell this one. $7. So that's... Profit of fourteen dollars. We're gonna have to cut that off. So that seat's good. This is broke. So we lost a little money there, but that's okay. The thing about this is we're trying to put little to no money in. Um, so we could cut this apron out, but I'm not really worried about it. So we need to get the grinder. Does this thing have any tires on it? Does not. Doesn't even have an axle. Nice. Okay. You get over there. Let's get the cleaning. Clean up what we can. Look, missed a little dirt on that rocker, but that's okay. So this is an easy way to flip cars. Um, you, if you have enough money, you could also use the used car dealership. That's another good way. My rule of thumb with that one is don't get anything that's wrecked. Get something that has rust, that needs color mats, you know, whatever. But try not to get anything wrecked. Because usually, at least in my experience, if you get something wrecked, your profits uh, drop tremendously because you got to fix it. Okay, how's the rust on this peach? It is still absolutely terrible. Okay. Unless they're counting this as rust now. But before they didn't. So let's see. Let's get this grinder. Sorry about that. I had a sneeze. Get this grinder, and we'll cut this one out. So there's that, that. Isn't there one at the, yeah, at the bottom? Right there. No, that's not it. Hmm. Come on now. Work with me. I don't know what I just cut, but... 
Let's get the wrench and we will pull that rear trim panel off. Well, how do you get this sucker off? Is it from the bottom? Nope, stuck. Let's see. Maybe we get the jack. Gotta only be like one weld holding it on. Yep, All right there. Okay, where is my other grinder? There it is. All right, uh, the rust got better. See the price on it, though? It jumped up a lot. I believe there's still rust behind this bumper. I'll take it off. There and there. Yep. Quite a bit, actually. So we get in the warehouse, I'm going to start investing in lifts and everything else. So we can get customer jobs. We can get uh, several projects going at once. So there's still some rust on it. The price is $5,200, though. Where might the rust be? Maybe on this front? Yep, on the front. Which, that unbolts. Two bolts at the bottom. There and there. Or not. You know, that's fine. You do you. Alright, let's, uh... I wish you could lock these down. I think that'd be sweet. Let me turn that off. forgot I even had that on. No push mode. How long is this been? We're at 33 minutes. That'll work. We'll get uh, at least this one done today. Get it painted and sold. Alright. With that nib that we found, I'm going to build an off-road nib, lifted. Um, I don't know what motor I'm going to put in it yet, but that'll be like our tow, our tow nib. So this should be five stars. It is. We'll go ahead and wash this sucker. All right, now it should be still not clean. Or else are you dirty? Oh. 
Really, I don't think it matters. But, yeah, it'll be fine. Okay, so we need A5, B, A, E, 9. A, 5, B, A, E, 9. A, 5, B, A, E, 9. Yep. Oh, God. Why'd I do that? A, 5, B, A, E, 9. I think we may be able to get down with one. Maybe. Let's see. That looks like crap. See all that? Alright, where else did I grind? Get this all patched up. We can put the bumper on it. There's that. And that. Okay. How's the color? Color condition's good. Now we throw these parts back on it. Oh, we got to paint that, actually. There we go. Need the old welder. Okay. When we get into the warehouse, I will be getting the uh, the MIG welder as well. Keep it. Don't drop it. Okay. Okay, that's that. Any rust? No rust. Colors good. Okay. All right, we'll set this jack out of the way. What's our time like? We are at 38 minutes. Still doing pretty good. Put this on there. And... Boom, boom. What does it say? Very used. Okay, we'll go ahead and trash that. And this. Make sure the rust didn't come back. Rust did come back. How much is it worth? 79. This is worth. Yeah, no thank you. Alright, this is going in the trash. But what did we give for that? I think it was like 3000 even or something. Close to it, 3080 Now it's worth 79 So that right there is a good way to make money. So we'll sell it. Now we have what we spent for two cars back. So not too bad, not too bad. All right, let's let's uh, let's clean up our mess a little bit, reset. We'll need this. Cut off wheel, go over there. All right, what's out here? Spray can. Alright, and clean up. 
right there. Now, uh, we'll leave this be for the time being. Let's uh, let's go ahead and push this over there and at least get it washed. We're only at 40 minutes, so we got about, I don't know, 20 minutes or so. 3400 is what it's worth. The Chad and the Bart are worth the most in the game. So it's best to find, you know, what you can at the junkyard for these. If you're just trying to flip them like this, you'll get the most money out of them. I think the Chad here restored goes for like 26 or something similar to that. All right, so a little bit of rust, not too shabby. Honestly, after we finish this one, we may be close to getting the warehouse. Depending on how much we can get out of it. You know, and if you're going to do like something like this at the junkyard, obviously not worry about washing it, but... Um, if you can find used parts, you know, it's, uh, that'd help the, that would help the value of the vehicle as well. Okay, so this one is pretty good and covered in rust. But like I said, uh, this video and the, probably the next one, maybe even the next one, we won't be focused on the twins. Um, we'll be trying to get some money so we can, you know, build motors for the twins, all that stuff. Okay, so the clean, this should be good. Nice. How much is it worth now? I don't, I don't remember the price before, but uh, the color condition is good. Now, if we can just clean up some rust, we'd be fine. I think I'm gonna put this paint code in the in the booth, so we'll have the paint gun for this one. Any on the roof, a little bit on the hood. Okay. Hey, something that'd be cool. You know, see how these are rotted through? If they could make, like, body panels like that. Like, obviously, like, right here. You know, from rust and everything else. Just 
fender may have to come off. Hoping it would disappear. All the rust. Like that. Yes. Nope. Nope. It's gone. Cool. Yeah, that's going to be cut out. But outside of that, that's it. Look, see, it's already 7391. So let's do this. Uh, let's get this wheel. Cut this bad boy out. That it? That all she wrote? No? Okay. This one? Gotta be underneath. All right. Playing hard to get. I understand it. I got friends in low places, though, buddy. And his name is Jack. His name is John Cena. Dun, 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 dun. There it is. Little booger. All right. Do this in some light. Then we'll get the paint code number. Curious to see how much we'll have. I bet we'll have enough for the uh, for the warehouse, but I don't want to just pull the trigger on it and not have no money left. Oh, you're gonna be hard to get like that. Okay, understand. All right, so six C seven two six one six C seven two six one. Go with six C seven two six one. Come on now, get throw. What? Six C seven two three one. Is that the right color? Six C seven two three one. Is that mustardy color? Oh, two six one. Six C seven two six one. Okay. Give me a can. Oh, nice. It's found it. Over here. Don't drop it on your head anymore. It's about to go down. 
Okay, current mode medium, Z to change. Big, very small. There's no sound. Okay, well, y'all heard the sound earlier. Maybe. I did, at least. And that's uh, a wall. Oh, there's still rust on it. It might only work over by the paint booth or something. The sound. All right, is there still rusty on the cars? There is, so it's going to be that right there. How about now? Still rust. Son of a gun. I'm not going to put that uh, rocker back on because I couldn't get all the rust off of it. Got to be behind that bumper or something. Oh, now it has sound. That's so weird. What is this bad boy worth? Yeah. Sell it. Now we have $18,000. Yeah, set this over here that we'll probably never use again. This is the primer for the twins. All right, let's, uh, let's reset our mess. So we know where everything's at when we need it. So that right there in this episode, I just turned 8,000. Actually, I turned like 1,800 into like 6,000 and 6,000 into 18,000 all in one episode. So follow me for more tips and tricks. All right. Um, what time is it? We are at 53 minutes, so let's wash this Niv, and we'll call it done. This bad boy is going to need all the work. Let's sleep. And, oh, we have some, yeah, we do. Drop them reams off. Turn the push off. Okay. We'll rinse it. It'll be the same thing. We'll do we'll go through it and do all the body work. All that jazz. But it'll be back burner. I'm honestly probably gonna push it out there and just let it sit. Until we can finish the twins. I'm not, I haven't decided. Do y'all think I should go ahead and buy the warehouse? It's going to be empty. I think I'm going to go ahead and do it. Next episode will be moving day. That's what it'll be titled. Okay, so this bad boy should be clean. It is. It's worth $95.90. All right, let's go do it. Let's go buy it. I mean, what do we have to lose? Just, you know, $15,000. And there we go. Warehouse is ours. Open a garage door. So in each corner, you can buy a shelf. 
I don't have enough to do it. It's four grand. But it's like a big shelf, uh, top, bottom. It's got a ladder to get up to the top where you can store all your stuff. So um, in a previous playthrough or in another one of my save files, I have one here and I have one across from it. Um, I don't want them up here on this playthrough because I'd like to keep, you know, tire or something and then lift, 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 lift. Same on each side. I'm thinking probably two, four, probably eight lifts in here. Make one of these like a tire station, one of these open or these first ones. And whichever one's not a tire station, um, maybe like a storage for like finished vehicles or something. And then we'll probably put like the couch or something right here. But we'll figure all that out on the next episode. But, yeah. Anyways, I want to thank all y'all for watching. And... Subscribe if you haven't already, if you've made it this far, sticking with me for an hour. So, y'all are the best. Thank you for watching, and I'll see y'all on the next one.